Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and I'm here today with another list of uh, armed citizen stories from the archives, okay? So, <clears throat> let's get right to it. The first one goes on, don't move. A homeowner recalled telling a burglar after she heard a noise, grabbed his gun and found the unwanted visitor running through his home. The burglar did not comply, forcing the homeowner to fire a shot, wounding him. The burglar fell to the ground and the homeowner commenced holding him at gunpoint. To the homeowner's astonishment, the burglar handed him a cell phone and asked him to call 911. Unfortunately, when the homeowner unlocked the door for police, the burglar made a break for it. He was moving, the homeowner said. He hit the fence pretty hard. You can hear him. The suspect is still being sought by police. And this happened in Houston, Texas. Okay. Two men broke into the power equipment store late one night and began ransacking the place. A store employee who was working late came upon the two men, one of which was holding a chainsaw. The employee pulled out a gun and fired a shot, fatally wounding one man and held the other at gunpoint until police arrived on the scene. And that happened in uh, Georgetown, Washington. Four young men loitering near a dumpster approached the wing zone takeout driver while he was making a delivery. According to witnesses, the suspect demanded money and one of them flashed an illegally possessed gun. The driver, a concealed carry permit holder, didn't hesitate. He drew his handgun and fired four shots while attempting to run. One of the suspects was shot and fell to the ground. He was arrested at the hospital. His accomplices fled. Two were arrested and one remains at large. Police said there have been several pizza delivery robberies in the area uh, during the six-month period, and this was in Lexington, Kentucky. When a Knoxville, Tennessee man discovered two would-be thieves attempting to steal car batteries from behind his home, he drew a firearm and held the suspects at gunpoint. The police arrived shortly thereafter, and both suspects were arrested and charged with theft. And that happened in Knoxville, Tennessee. Two people had just pulled into the bank's drive through automated teller machine when a man approached them on the driver's side of the vehicle. The man drew a gun and demanded that the driver withdraw $600 and give it to him. The driver told him that the bank wouldn't allow him to withdraw that amount, but the passenger told the driver to go ahead and withdraw it. Secretly, the passenger just wanted a diversion to allow him to draw his handgun. As the suspect watched the driver withdraw money, the passenger saw his opening. He reached over and pushes the suspect's gun out of the driver's face and shoots him twice, said Jackson, uh, Mississippi Commander Wendell Watts. The suspect returned fire and the passenger shot him an additional four to five times. The suspect survived but lost a kidney and his freedom. Jackson, Mississippi. Three twenty-something men planned out an attack on a nearby home and decided to carry it out one night. Little did they know the homeowner who, did, who, who would be ready for them. <clears throat> Just after entering the home by breaking down the front door, two of the intruders were met by the homeowner at the end of his shotgun. One of the men fled while the other was held at gunpoint until police arrived. The men were charged with burglary and criminal conspiracy, and that was in Portland, Oregon. Professional firefighter. Uh, Craig Moore was returning home when he noticed a pair of snow-covered boots that didn't belong to him. Fearing an intruder was inside, he readied his handgun and began a room-by-room -room inspection. He entered an upstairs bedroom. He came face-to-face -face with a man hiding under a comforter at the foot of the bed. <laughs> to Moore's further shock, he recognized the man as his neighbor. Moore, yelling at him, demanded to know that he was doing in the house and asked if he had stolen anything. The neighbor coward and begged Moore not to shoot. As Moore phoned police, the neighbor leapt uh, from the two-story window, ran back inside to retrieve his boots, and fled. The police arrested the neighbor who was out on bail for several other burglaries and took him to the hospital for treatment of a broken ankle. That was in Marathon, New Hampshire. A 77-year-old uh, man woke up to sound someone breaking into his home. As it turns out, the intruder was a 24-year-old neighbor who used a pair of 18-inch wooden handles to break a bedroom window and climb in. 
The homeowner grabbed his handgun and fired a shot, causing the man to flee. The police later found, later found the suspect asleep nearby, drunk with a bullet wound in his left arm. And that was in uh, Chioquin, Oregon. Okay, here's another set of armed citizen stories. Men uh, uh, and women uh, taking courage and, uh, and standing up for, uh, for their safety and their family's safety. Okay, I hope you enjoy these stories, my friends. This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.